What's up guys, Drippin' Rip Reviews, um, back again with a uh, vape vlog. Uh, in this vape vlog, I'm just going to be talking a little bit, and I'm also going to share a couple uh, tricks with you that I use that help uh, help me uh, make twisted coils faster and more efficiently, and um, stuff like that. So, uh... Without further ado, let me uh, take a vape and I will get started. Alright, first order of business. So, this is, um,. You know how most people, when they twist canthal, you typically see them using one of these little Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever you want to call it. Well, what if I told you that there was a way that you could use a drill to twist your canthal and you wouldn't have to worry about it flying off if you didn't get just the right amount of tension? Um, and I present to you this. And all this is, is obviously, it's just um, a pin, like the types of pins that use uh, caps, you know, with little hook for uh, front pockets, and um, all you do is you just take your canthal, get yourself a nice little length of um, whatever canthal you're twisting. I usually twist a uh, 28 gauge myself. But, uh, but yeah. So, picking these goddamn wire cutters to bring cut. Okay. So, um, here's another trick. You know how most people they say that the, um, you gotta flare your canthal to get it to go straight out. Well, uh, what if I told you? that all you needed to straighten your canthal was two pairs of pliers. Um, so here's what you do. You um, get one end of your canthal. Uh, I like to fold it over just like that so that I have a little bit more of something to grab onto. Uh, and then just do the same thing on the other side just on the very end just kind of fold the very end over just like so and then what you want to do is with your uh, two pairs of pliers you just want to take one plier just grab one in make sure it's secure and then just do the same thing on the other side and make sure it's secure and then what you want to do is you just want to kind of do this like you're rowing a boat just pull it out and just do this just and what that does it kind of straightens it out. See how it is now? See how it's not so trying to like round over on itself? Uh, it's not as springy. Um, that's how I straighten my canthal out. If, um, if your piece isn't so long, if you had a piece like this, it would just stay straight. It would be completely straight. Or if you used a higher gauge, 28 gauge, uh, you know, it kind of, it's kind of springy just because of how thin it is. And uh, anyways, so then, next step, get your canthal in kind of a teardrop shape, uh, like this, you know, and just kind of twist the two ends uh, together like you normally would when you're twisting canthal. At least I think this is how most people do it, if I'm not mistaken. And then just sort of, uh, just get it to where it's, uh, you know, like, uh, where you can grab onto it easily. 
Um, I like to fold my canth all over multiple times. Uh, just like so, so that there's like a like a nice big piece I can grab onto, right? Okay, so here's where the pin comes in. You take your pin and you just stick it into the uh, into the drill, and then you slide. I'm sorry about my phone, guys. I don't know why the fuck it keeps going off. I'm gonna go ahead and mute it for a minute. Uh, if I can mute this motherfucker. Uh, since this is a vlog, um, you know, I'm not going to be uh, as formal, not going to worry about, you know, my phone going off and stuff like that. But then you just hook the loop end, uh, not the end that you twisted up and got in your, like, kind of ball shape, but the other end, the, um, this end. You take it, and you just slide it into that little clippy part on the end so that it's like that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the cord is preventing me from getting it closer to the camera. Um, and anyway, so then you just grab on to that part that you twisted up, and then you just... twisted piece of canthal. Uh, you could go ahead and twist it a little bit more. I usually twist mine to the point that it's like just twisted twisted like super twisted but um, you know it doesn't have to end up that twisted uh, whatever whatever you're most comfortable with. But um, yeah that was just my quick little uh, trick to uh, you know to make some easy twisted canthal uh, and do it a little bit more efficiently um, I don't really think I have any other tricks to share with you guys other than that one uh, so yeah but so that's basically the video just a nice short little video Hope it helped, um, not really too much more I can say, but that's how you twist canthal, real easy, uh, and then you know, w once you're done, obviously, you take your wire cutters and you clip the ends so that you just have, you know, your nice flush piece of canthal, um, but yeah, so hope this helps um, if uh, if it did help uh, I would like you to rate comment subscribe uh, you know I don't have to I'm not forcing anybody to do anything but uh, I do appreciate it your guys subscriptions and stuff means a lot to me you know when I put these videos out I do it because I sincerely you know want to help my fellow vapors out there I you know I want to help you guys make your coils in the most easiest way um, and I don't want you to have to go through the same trial and error that I did when I first started vaping because I wasted lots of e-juice um, you know having it leak all over my mods uh, wasted a lot of effort pissed myself off a lot trying to get my technique down but uh, after I got everything uh, you know like figured out it actually ended up being relatively easy. Um, I'm surprised I haven't seen the pin method and the drill uh, on YouTube before. Uh, well, not like that anyway. I, I've seen people use pins to twist canthal, but I've never seen anybody put one in a drill. Uh, I don't know why. I've never seen anybody do that. But yeah. So, this is Drippin' Rip Reviews signing out. Um, Thanks for watching, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever else you want to do. Uh, if you got any suggestions for my videos, shoot me a comment or message or whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it.
Thanks for watching, guys.